Timers for the classroom, absolutely essential if we're doing any tests, any timed exercises, always useful to have a timer on the board. Well, wouldn't it be useful if that timer could be embedded in our Notion page? Well, now it can. I'm showing you exactly how. I'm showing how you exactly to get a timer of any duration, any duration you ever want, get it displayed on that Notion page, whatever quirky uh, aspect of your timetable requires you to have a particular duration, which is like non-standard, it's not like five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Get it in your Notion page. I'm showing you how to do that. I'm also giving you some free extra classroom tools which will help you run your lessons digitally. Again, all completely within Notion, all embeddable anywhere within your Notion workspace. So if you're teaching a lesson with particular aspects up the side, um, or particular aspects which need um, some funky tools. They're all in here, watch right at the very end and make sure you jump down into the description and download yourself the template that I'm sharing with you for free today. More about, at the moment I'm just sharing with you this one page with all my timers and a few other really, really useful classroom tools that you can embed anywhere across your Notion workspace. Stick around right at the very end, I've got a few surprises for you with some of the uh, useful tools right at the end of this video. But really what you're here to see is the timers and how I can set a timer for any duration right in my Notion workspace, okay? Right in my Notion workspace. First, what I want to just show you is I want to have this one page displayed on the board at the front of the room, projected on the board at the front of the room with the instructions for the test alongside the timer. So they're displayed up there, reminding students throughout the test, okay? So what I've got here is on this page, a bunch of instructions all in red. You can read them and follow them, okay? And the first instruction here at the top is, these are my test conditions for my students and I can change these test conditions. I can say, uh, sit up straight, during test or whatever you need and I'll maybe make that bold and that's all in there as a call out and what I then do is because I can only get that text to display so big in my Notion workspace what I then do is jump up to awesome screenshot you've heard me talk about this before I grab a quick screenshot of that like this and once I've grabbed that screenshot I'll then come down here and what I've, I've done it previously, I'll just drop that screenshot in here, okay? And then what that allows me to do is with that, once that's an image, I can then expand that to suit the requirements in my room and, and my students, okay? Whereas with that text, it's a bit, if it's just a text file or, or lines of text in Notion, it's a bit harder to do that. I can expand that alongside my timers and students then hopefully in a way that stu your students in your room in your setting will be able to see nice and clear on the screen but really what we're here for is the timers okay so what I've got embedded in this template that I'm going to share with you down in the description remember to get it is the sort of standard timers that we'd maybe want to use for a short quiz or a short test and these are just embedded YouTube videos okay lovely little embedded YouTube videos little countdown timer Okay, and there you have it, 10 minute clock, rolling around, keeps students reminded of how long they've got less than the test. And I've got those in there for all those different times. Now, what I do have in here is a bit of a non-standard timer, okay, 32 minutes. I'm just gonna show you how I would, how I've done that. So, you, because you may, for example, have, I don't know, a 37 minute test coming up, all right? Or that may, for some reason, to do with your timetable, wherever it is, that might be your standard um, test duration. And you would need to have a timer for 37 minutes, obviously. And the way that I would do that is I'd jump into YouTube, right? And I will pick any video which is like longer than the time of the test that you wanna take. And here's this video, which is one hour countdown timer. What I will then do is jump in here and scroll along, drag the red dot along in this video to very, very near to the length of duration that we need. And we said, what we say, 37 minutes, okay? So I've just changed this clock to 37, 12, 10, 11, 10. It's counting down to 37 minute mark. Watch this, when it hits the 37 minute mark, I'm gonna hit pause, four, three, two, one, pause i've now paused that clock at 37 minutes if we then jump down to the share button 
yeah, I could share the link to the video and that, if I took that link at the moment, it would start the video at the very, very start. However, if I'm in YouTube, I can also click the link, tick the box to start my saved video at the point at which I've paused it. So this video will now start at the 2305 minute mark, which is the 37 dot dot timer left on the clock. Hit copy, back into my Notion page, drop my cursor underneath the toggle for 37 minutes, control V on my keyboard to paste that link and create the embed. And this clock, when I click start now, in my Notion page, is gonna start from the 37 minute mark, okay? The, the clock for my timer, for my test, is gonna start at the 37 minute mark, exactly where I need it. And I can have that saved in there, so that any time I come in there, both on this page or anywhere else in my Notion workspace where I've embedded this particular video, we've got a 37 minute clock. And every time I restart it, it starts at the 37 minute mark. Isn't that perfect? Okay, and it's a lovely display and there's hundreds of these. You can choose any design you like from across um, YouTube, drop them in. YouTube videos working, embedded in Notion, really, really working really, really well at the moment. And that's how you get a timer for any duration you like from using a YouTube embed in Notion. All right, and there's timers in YouTube which come with alarms at the end if you have the volume turned on and lots of other quirks about them, lots of nice designs, digital, analog, 24 hour, 12 hour clocks, the works, whatever you need, they're all in there. Just have a quick search and then embed the video in and I'll show you how to start that countdown timer at the point that you need it. Now the only other thing I was going to show you about is a little surprise at the end, some other useful classroom tools, okay, sitting down here in a toggle. Uh, and these are fairly self-explanatory. We've got a stopwatch starting from zero and counting up, okay, that's in there as a little embed uh, from another website, it's, it's an app that's in there, embeds really nice and tidy, pause, reset, start, pause, keep going. All works nicely. Uh, the rest are YouTube videos. We've got a random number generator, which at the moment is massive on my screen. And I'm just thinking if I want to generate a random number for some sort of calc that I'm doing on the screen, jump in there, hit play. Just misbehaving a little bit. Hit play. If, you, if the video ever plays up, we can just hit the toggle, get it to disappear, and it, when it comes back up, there's a random number that's been generated. Just hit pause at the when you want the number, pause, another new random number. Random letter generator, exactly the same thing. You want to choose a student, start with this particular randomly generated letter from the alphabet. Jump in here, hit play. Okay, there's your random letters. You want to roll a dice, one dice. or two dice, both those videos are available in this template from YouTube embedded videos. Work lovely on the screen. For some reason right now, a bit of a glitch, possibly on Notion, the videos don't work first time, but we'll just close the toggle, open it again. There's your random, you're rolling two dice on your screen. Okay. And that's your classroom tools template. Remember to grab yourself a, a free template from and duplicate it to your own workspace. And then you can grab these tools and drop them anywhere throughout your Notion system for whatever your needs are. Pomodoro, Pomodoro timer, um, any sort of test timer, anything you need. The function's all there and it's waiting to be used. Okay, otherwise. you've been watching Notion for Teachers. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to hit subscribe and the bell icon right now. Subscribe, bell icon. You won't miss any of my future videos as I'm sharing every single week, trying to add value to your lessons, to your life, to improve your teacher admin every single week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next week.